Happy Wine Wednesday! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Wine Wednesday video. In today's video, we are going to be using the new Bretman Rock Wet n Wild palette. I went to Ulta yesterday because I hadn't been to Ulta in a while and I needed a re-up on my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist because it's like almost out and I run out all the time because I use it on clients and stuff. And I wanted to pick up the matte one as well. But um, I also wanted to like check and see like what was new in the drugstore because I know that since I like haven't been working, since I have stopped working at Walgreens, it's kind of been... I, I don't really post too much about drugstore makeup, and I know you guys really, really like drugstore makeup or affordable makeup, so I went to go and see what they had and, you know, check it out, and I saw this, and I was like, I didn't even know he came up with a palette. Like, I thought it was a mascara, um, but this is the Bretman Rock palette. It's really, 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 really pretty. It's definitely more colorful, more out of the box, but this green right here is speaking to me. So I'll definitely be doing a look with that. Um, but it has a nude, a gold, a kind of like, um, kind of like cranberry color, and then a lighter, kind of more wearable, less sparkly nude or um, gold, and then a bright yellow gold. You have a brown, a red, a fuchsia, a like green color, a mint green, a blue shimmer, a green shimmer, a matte purple a darker matte red and then you have a sparkly matte black so a really 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 good palette i love that the names are on the palette and not anywhere else it does not come with a mirror but i think this palette was like 12 bucks or something i have the receipt <laughs> so um this palette was 14.99 so it's 15 bucks for three two four five 15 shades so not bad um and then he came out with a dual highlighter one shade is like a like a gold and then the other one is like an iridescent kind of like gold with like pink rose gold undertone so i'm gonna be using this one but i'm gonna be using it on my eyes and this this was actually pretty inexpensive it is um it was 7.99 so eight dollars for a double highlighter and you can also double it as eyeshadow. So I'm super excited for this look. Um, I'm not sure what today's topics are going to be. Um, I was just going through my list of things that, like story times that I've wanted to do. So um, I think I think we're going to talk about the time that I lost my virginity and my stepsister told everybody. So if that is something that interests you, then please keep on watching it. Also, if you haven't gone ahead and subscribed, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And let's roll the intro. Okay, so I am going to use my ABH eye primer to prime my eye for today's look. Just so that way we have a nice kind of like light base to apply these colors. Um, but, okay, so, <laughs> so I'm super excited uh, to be using this palette. Oslo is about to get his fucking ass whooped because he just will not quit barking. Um, okay, so this is circa 2013. Um, no, 2010, I'm sorry. Jack and I got together in August, April. Oh my gosh, I can't even get my words together. April of 2010. And I remember being like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make him wait seven days to give him a kiss because seven was my favorite color. And I was... I was 15? Yeah, I was 15. He he had just turned 16 because his birthday was on the 17th and then he asked me out on the 20th. And funny thing, it was na it's National Weed Day. 420 is National Weed Day and we're weed advocates. So, um, <laughs> uh, I guess he thought that would be cute or something. But in hindsight, I'm like, like, dude, like, why would you do that? Why would you ask me out on this day? But, so... I was like, yeah, you need to um, wait seven days and then we can have our first kiss or whatever. And oh my gosh, I don't even remember where our first kiss was. But anyway, so I think we had our first kiss or whatever. I don't even remember where it was or what even happened. Where was it? Where was it? I don't even remember. But so we, 
I had first period, um, and my first period was banned. And um, so first period, no, at that point, first period was no, first period was PE because I was still um, I was a freshman. So first period was PE and second period was banned or vice versa. I can't remember. I think it was, I think first period was banned because I was an underclassman and second period was PE. I think that's how it went because upperclassmen had, had banned second period, I believe. I can't remember. I think that's how it was. So first period was, um, PE and second period was banned and I lived right down the street from the um, school that we went to for first period. Now Jack didn't because Jack wasn't in band. So, okay, band, fine arts, not fine arts. Yeah, fine arts students like band, orchestra, and drama, like they had, we all went to a different school for our first and second period because our high school like didn't have the space for it. Um, so we went to a different school, which was our, um, one of the middle schools in town and we went there and Jack went to the high school because he obviously didn't do those. So he had a different first and second period. I'm not hundred percent sure what it was. So my fast ass, <laughs> I don't even know what led me to like, I don't remember what the conversation was. So Jack has said that I asked him to come over. I don't remember because I just have the shittiest memory. So I don't remember how the events went <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm going to take Flamingo out of the uh, Brett Rock palette. I just used Stay True out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. So because I wanted something a little deeper and darker. So yeah, so. He said that I asked him to come over, um, and originally, I do remember, like, like, wanting to, like, mess around, but not really, like, have sex, um, because my mom always wanted me to, like, talk to her before I did any of that, so, like, she can give me on birth control, and, you know, so everything would be set in place before it happened, and... Um, I do remember that, like, not, not, not wanting to have sex, but wanting to mess around, but not really, like, go any further. And I remember him being like, do you want to try? And, <laughs> and I was just like, I guess, like, I don't really know. Like, I, I've, I've messed around with one dude before and he was a senior and I was a fucking freshman so that that and um so I had messed around but I had never like gone any further than just like fingering and so when he said that I was just like I freaking guess like I don't really like I don't really know like what to do or you know like anything like that and he had only been with one girl previously so we were both just fucking just doing stuff just to be fucking doing stuff and we're in my grandma's house <laughs> in my grandma's house at what seven eight eight o'clock in in the daytime and you know messing around while we're supposed to be at school so yeah I was, I was being by it, um, and it wasn't the one and only time that we did that, but that's besides the point, so, so that happened, and I remember coming back to the bus, because we ride, uh, at that point, neither of us had had our licenses, and we had, um, like, my experience wasn't traumatic or anything like that, I wouldn't say it was traumatic, um, but. Uh, I remember walking back to the bus and all of my friends being like, we know what y'all just did. And I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all are so embarrassing. Like my guy friends especially were like really embarrassing. Like, ooh, yeti. And I'm just like, y'all, like cut it out. 
like cut it out. Um, but that was an experience in and of itself. And I was not like, not like excited because like, I wouldn't necessarily say my emotions were like excitement, but I was, it was something new and I wanted to share it with my stepsister because she's she's just the closest sister in age that I had and little did I fucking know like she's a little she was a little malicious asshole and she fucking told her mom which is my stepmom and my stepmom told fucking everybody so like by the end of that day and I had a softball game so I was up in like up north somewhere at a softball game and I just had text messages out the ass like from my family like my mom like threatening to whoop my ass and you know just like all of this stuff and I was just like well how did they find out and then it, it clicked to me like fucking Kira told them and I'm just like why would you even do that why would you even do that like who tells that their sister just lost their virginity, you know? Like, that's fucking lame. And I was always resent resenting, like, I always resented her for that because I felt like nobody needed to know except for you, especially if I'm trusting you with this piece of information and you went and told your mom and then your mom told my mom and my grandma and my dad and everybody that didn't fucking need to know, I mean like come on and so that was a whole fiasco like everybody was waiting at my house when i got home from my softball game and it was just like like are we serious right now and like in hindsight it's just like i understand why parents make losing your virginity a big deal but literally society is the only people that make a virginity a big deal like i Think that a virginity, yes, it's a piece of yourself. It's obviously a piece of skin that separates being active from not being active. And um, But I don't think that the pressures of like saving yourself for marriage and things like that, I don't think any of that is necessarily that important. Um, luckily for me, I married who I lost my virginity to, so... Um, it worked out, but, but I just, I think women should be able to be just as, um, free and, um, ex like, expressing and promiscuous as, the, as men. Like, I feel like women should experiment and do whatever they have to do to feel like they did what they had to do. And the same as men. Like I, I just think that girls should be able to express themselves the same. Um, but that's a different subject. So, so anyways, my mom was, uh, she was cool. Like she didn't like freak out about it. I think she was more so upset about how she found out as opposed to like me telling her, as opposed to like my stepmom being like, just so you know, Yeti lost her virginity. And, and nope, like she don't want to hear that shit. So to her, I was just like, why couldn't you tell me? Um, and then she did put me on birth control after that. She's like, you're fucking, you're going to be on birth control. So she ended up putting me on the shot. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't like shots. I don't like shots. I don't like shots. So for her to put me on the shot, it was just like, ooh, why would you do that, mom? Like, shots are just the worst, and to have to get them every three months is just bad. And then I started hearing crazy things about the shot, like, like, it can make you sterile, and just a whole bunch of fishy shit, and I'm just not for that. So I was just like, yeah, no, I am going to take the pill. And then <laughs> I didn't take the pill, because I just didn't like it so I throughout high school I wasn't on any birth control and we didn't use condoms okay so let me back up so during our little first time escapade we had to use one condom and 
that fucking condom, that condom had broken. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my fucking God, like, did you come? And he was just like, no. So I was kind of worried, but I kind of wasn't worried because he had said he, he didn't come yet. So um, it still like freaked me out. And after that, I was just like, you know, like, you don't have to use a condom or whatever. My dumb ass, like, anything could have happened. It had, like, anything could have went, went left. So, um, he had ended up just pulling out. And so that was our method all the way through, like, forever. Like, <laughs> like, until I got on birth control again in 2015. So I had went my entire high school career without using any birth control and it was great. And then I went away to the military. So obviously in the military, like, unless it's like do or die, like you don't need any, you don't need any birth control because you're not having sex. You're literally, well, you shouldn't be having sex. I'll say that. You are literally just like there to do your stuff. So when I went away to the military in 20, 13 and when I graduated I didn't have on any I didn't have any birth control so I we we went and we did I did have a scare so like right after <laughs> this is crazy all my mom is fucking insane so right after um all of that went down I was worried because I didn't know like losing your virginity affected your cycle so to me it was just like I ain't got my period yet. Like, what's going on? And so I had told my mom, and my mom was like, oh, you ain't got your period yet. Like, so you must be pregnant. So my mom had ended up, we were at church, actually. We were at church. It was a Sunday. And she was just throwing her fit and just going off on a tangent. And she decided she was going to make me ask Jack what church his parents went to fucking embarrassing okay she's embarrassing so she drove me to their church and we had to sit down and have a talk about this maybe baby <laughs> this baby that i'm pregnant with so jack was there at church i guess and, and like ended up like walking home because he didn't want to be like he didn't want to like have to deal with that craziness because he had been telling me like i'm not pregnant like just chill out and i am just like even now like y'all know like the slightest i'm like i'm fucking pregnant and he was just like you're not pregnant like chill pretty much and so my mom had me at their church telling them about you know, our little escapade and the probability of me being pregnant and all of that. So that was like my first experience with his parents because mind you, we had just started dating and like, I think we ended up having sex like maybe a week. Oh, no, not a week. Maybe like, two, uh, yeah, it was two weeks. Yeah, I kissed him after a week and then we had sex after two weeks. So um yeah so uh and i was talking to his parents about this and like literally oh my god look at what i just did look at that and i had like literally that was the first time i had ever met them so it was fucking crazy and scary um so with that being said let me go ahead and do the other eye and then um i'll come back for the face because i'm going to do the face i'm going to use all drugstore products so i'm going to keep up with the same since I'm using the Bretman Rock, I'm going to use the drugstore makeup. But yeah, y'all, my mom was fucking crazy. She literally had me at these people's church talking to them about this baby that never was but could have been. <laughs> so yeah, she's... Yeah. Okay, so like I was saying, my mom is crazy. She made me go up to Jack's parents' church to... <laughs> um talk about a potential baby that wasn't so like that was crazy 
Um, his parents were just like, what the fuck is going on right now? Like, literally, it was fucking church service, like a Sunday. And we were up in here talking about me possibly being pregnant. So, anyways, obviously, we don't have any children. So, long story short, we weren't pregnant. That was, like, the one and only, like, um, how's this going to go? How does this even go? I guess it has to go back from that way. Because it's supposed to go this way. I don't know. Um, so we obviously weren't pregnant. And that was like really one of the only scares that we had. Like as like young adolescents, teens. <laughs> um, I mean, we didn't really have a scare. Like as adults either really. Like we really never had that um but that whole situation was crazy and i was like so upset with my stepsister um for even like telling i think i'm gonna end up using prowl right here in the inner corner also it's another story time for another day my or jack and my stepsister like that summer we had ended up breaking up they ended up starting to talk like they were talking and like even when as far as like meeting up one day like walk like she had to like go to like I think she ended up going to like the grocery store that was like right up the street and like her and my other sister and like they had like planned to like meet and I'm like like I didn't know any of this obviously until after the fact and I'm just like you have I like not even kidding I despised my stepsister for the longest time like when we got married last year like she had texted me like apologizing and stuff again but like because we were never close again after that like like, first you tell on me that I lost my virginity, and then you, after we break up for the summer, like, for the summer, we broke up for, like, a few weeks, maybe a month. No, I think it was, like, a month. Um, And then after we break up, you end up dating him. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was pissed, you guys. I was so pissed. I... Did not like that, because... Her previous boyfriends, like, like, you, I don't know if you guys know, but, like, white men have a fetish with, like, sleeping with black women. Like, not, like, a fetish, but, like, they all, like, I don't know, at least when I was in high school, like, I would be approached all the time about, like, sleeping with them because they had never been with a black woman before. And it's, like, you know, like, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's different. I don't fucking know. Um... But one of her ex-boyfriends had did that. And I was just like, no, like, why would I do that? Like, that's my sister, you know, everything like that. And then to find out that she had actually done it, it was just like, are you kidding? Like, I was pissed. You guys, I was pissed and I was hurt, you know? And in hindsight, I'm a fucking idiot because I feel like I, I expected more from her than Jack. So, like, I ended up obviously taking Jack back, but I always tell him, like, you're so fucking lucky because we should have never got back together. <laughs> and he'd be like, I fucking know. Um, but shit was not always rainbows and sunshine, let me tell you. There was even one point where I was really, really, really good friends with a guy. Um, we were like the best of friends, like, but never took it to a different level. We were just like, we would just hang out and just like fucking chill. We never, never, ever, ever did any, like, I never even went as far as kissing him, but I always had that connection with him. And there was one time my junior year, uh, they were both seniors. Yeah, they were both seniors. And seniors didn't have school that day. He actually went to a different school then Jack and I and um I had ended up breaking up with Jack because I was like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna date this guy so I'm gonna break up with Jack so I ended up breaking up with Jack and then like telling my friend like you know because he had knew, knew that I was in love with Jack or whatever and that like I also liked him and so um I was like I broke up with Jack and he was just like okay like what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Like, I'm still not. 
He's like, I'm still not going to date you because I know you still have feelings for him. So I was just like, oh my God, like I just real ass broke up with Jack and you're not going to date me. So then I ended up telling, I think I ended up telling Jack that. And so like after that, he just never really liked us like hanging out and stuff like that. And um, like I understood, but I was just like, it's completely platonic, like get over it. But you know, I don't know if I would get over it if I was in that situation. So yeah. So yeah, y'all, my like high school, like, journey was crazy like i have a ton of other stories like about like when my grandma all the times my grandma kicked me out kicked me out like the time that i went missing my parents or my sister and my mom were just so fucking dramatic and like it it, it was just crazy but <laughs> i know that i said i was going to come back on camera and um show you guys the face portion but my Pat McGrath concealer actually did get delivered, so I ended up doing that video. So you will probably see that video tomorrow um, and see this one today on Wednesday. You did get two videos, so I hope you're able to watch both of those. Unfortunately, my Jaclyn Hill palette video did not get uploaded until like 12 o'clock. Literally, I started uploading it at 8 p.m. and it didn't get uploaded until 12 p.m. So I'm so sorry about that, but two videos, yay! But I still want to get this video up because I still need to get to the gym and everything like that. So I think I'm going to, actually, I'm, I think I'm going to go to a couple classes tonight. Um, there's a kickbox class, which I've always been interested in kickboxing. And there is a ab workout right after. So I think I'm going to do both of those tonight. And that's why I'm up so early getting this stuff done. It's already one o'clock and I'm done. Like, me for you. Um, but yeah, I, I just, you know, the story time wasn't as deep and it wasn't as, as crazy, but I don't know, leave me a, leave me a comment about your first time if you feel like sharing because mine wasn't as, like my first time wasn't crazy or exciting or anything like that, but it ended up being crazy. <laughs> Let's just say that my family is a net case, so Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, once again, happy wine Wednesday because period.com. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys like this look. I think it turned out really, 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 really pretty. It's really pretty. Okay. Bye.